Good evening, Mrs Spencer here. Tonight I am going to read The Dog Who Could Dig by Jonathan Long. Digger the dog was a bit of a plot. He'd buried his bone and he forgot the spot. He sniffed round the garden in search of his nibble till he sniffed something nice and started to dribble. That must be my bone, he said, down in the muck. I knew I would find it with a bit of good luck. So he stuck in his paws and he scratched and he dug till he found something hard and he gave it a tug. When he opened his eyes, can you guess what he'd found? It wasn't a bone that he'd left underground. It was a rotten brown shoe with a hole in the toe that someone had dropped a long time ago. I can't eat that, Digger said with a frown. My bone must be deeper. I'll dig further down. So he stuck in his paws and he scratched and he dug till he found something else and he gave it a tug. When he opened his eyes, can you guess what he found? It wasn't the bone that he'd left underground. But a coal mining miner, all covered in soot, very surprised to be tugged by the foot. Sorry, said Digger, I do beg your pardon. I didn't expect to find you in the garden. The miner was cross. Ooh. You bad boy, he hissed as he grabbed Digger's throat in his big hairy fist. I can't eat him, Digger said with a frown. My bone must be deeper. I'll dig further down. So he stuck in his paws and he scratched and he dug till he found something else and he gave it a tug. It was terribly heavy and the dog had to battle. But at last it came out with a shake and a rattle. The bones shake and rattle. Can you guess what he found? The thing that he had found. A tubular train that chuffed underground. With 24 carriages all full of faces driven along by a man in red braces. What are you doing? This isn't my station, shouted the driver with great indignation. Sorry, said Digger, I do beg your pardon. I didn't expect to find you in the garden. I can't eat him, Digger said with a frown. My bone must be deeper. I'll dig further down. So he stuck in his paws and he scratched and he dug till he found something else and he gave it a tug. But tugging it out was a terrible strain, more of a strain than the tubular train. And when it was out, can you guess what he'd found? Buried away, deep under the ground, what it could be? A bone at last! Look at that. But it wasn't a single. It was joined to some more and they all made a jingle. There were big bones aplenty and small ones galore. All that was left of an old dinosaur. What a surprise, Digger said with a smile. This pile of snacks will last quite a while. Wait just one minute, came a voice from aloft. Those bones are rare and not to be scoffed. A smiling professor was over his shoulder with a little round specks and a shabby red folder. I'm hungry, said Digger. Those bones are my dinner. If I don't eat them soon, I'll end up much thinner. Look here, said the prof. I'm not being funny. Give me those bones and I'll give you some money. Great, said Digger showing one of his paws, two million pounds, and those bones will be yours. The prof scratched her head, hmm, saying, hmm, and then ah, then paid and drove off with the bones strapped to her car.
You have to be careful with those. When she had gone, Digger went to the shops and loaded his trolley with packs of pork chops. He bought burgers and steaks and bangers in strings and hot spicy pies and fried chicken wings. He invited his friends for a beautiful dinner where no one had bones and no one got thinner. end thank you very much for listening to the story stay safe bye